Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here and welcome back to a new video. This week I'm super excited to talk about One and Only. This is a drama that dropped really unexpectedly on August 18th. It has 24 episodes and airs on ITE and Tencent. It stars Bai Lu and Alan Ren. This is a drama I've been looking forward to ever since we've seen some teaser photos and the casting was announced. It follows a story between an accomplished general who takes in a daughter of a prestigious family as a disciple. And over time, they grow and fall in love. Usually, I like binging dramas, so I tend to wait one to two weeks before I would watch. But this one, I just couldn't wait. And I even got the VIP pass to watch it. And so far, I'm almost at the midway point, which is 10 episodes. So all the episodes that are out so far. And for first impressions, this one is really good. It is a slow burn romance, but since it's only 24 episodes, the pacing is pretty good and it feels natural. I really like the acting here. The chemistry is off the charts and I really like the characters and the writing of the script for once. Both of them are pretty mature and the costumes, the sets, everything looks really good. So if you haven't seen it already, then make sure you do or add it to your plan to watch list. The next drama that airs recently is Bailing Tan. This is a drama that airs on August 22nd on Mango TV. I'm pretty sure when it airs, they are going to put out a English title for this. But since I'm filming this a day earlier, there's nothing out yet. But I'll make sure to keep the updated title in the description box below. This drama stars Kang Ning and Fiction Guo. It is an adventure, romance, fantasy, historical drama. This is a Shansha drama that tells a story between a demon king and an unlucky princess who meets through various tasks and eventually fall in love. Once again with Mango TV, you should expect a one to two week subtitle delay because even when they post English subtitles, they're usually auto translated or they just go through like a server that automatically does it literally. So a lot of the words just don't make sense. There was recently an announcement that a new Tencent web drama remake of the Korean drama My Girl held its filming ceremony with Sing Zhao Lin and Xing Fei as the leads. This is a rich man, poor woman, contract relationship, romance story. And after that, we have Forbes China, which released recently in August their 2021 annual Chinese celebrity list which takes a look at which one has the most commercial value influence in the industry. The first one came as a surprise to many people, but it's Jackson Yi. And second place was Wang Yibo. Third place is Jia Ling. Fourth place is Yang Mi. And fifth place is Jay Cho. This list takes into account their works and variety shows that they've been on how active and how high the quality of the works they've been in. And actually, if you think about it, it's not a surprise that Jackson Yee is on top since Better Days received around 15 awards at different prestigious film festivals. Earlier this week, we also have the rumor that Hu Yitian is dating Zhang Ronan. They were spotted by paparazzi hanging in the same car for a while, then returning to a hotel together. However, his team quickly denies this and said that they are working on a drama together and just carpooled after a team meal and that the whole cast is living in the same hotel. Also, there's a big rumor that Lo Yunxi and Bai Lu will be working together again in a historical fantasy drama. And this news is likely to happen because they did speak out about this before that they get along well they're quite close friends they meet up for food even after love is sweet was done and during promotions in one of their interviews they revealed that they do want to work together again if the chance comes up and they're both happy with the scripts the rumors are that if they do accept then they will start filming by the end of september or mid october now on to dramas that will air in the following year or maybe even the end of this year these are the major romance dramas that release new posters for the Chishi Festival. And I did cover the major historical romances in the previous news updates in episode 53. So if you haven't seen that one yet, make sure to check it out after this video by clicking onto my Chinese news and updates playlist in the description box. All names of the dramas can also be found in the description box below. 
First is Light Chaser Rescue, starring Lo Yun Shi and Janice Wu. This is about a devastating earthquake that had a lawyer joining the volunteer rescue efforts. He meets a doctor and falls for her bravery and brilliance. After vigorous training, the volunteers and the doctor team teams up to form an elite rescue unit. The next drama is called My Favorite Special Girl or My Special Girl. This is an Aichi 24 episode short rom-com drama starring Zhang Yunlong and Irene Song. This is about a man with facial blindness and he once has a crush on a girl. Now, fast forward to the future, he meets her again and she's an intern at his company. However, with the facial blindness, he doesn't realize that it was a girl that he liked all along. Meanwhile, the female lead has a secret. She actually wants to be a broadcast singer and blogger at night. And the internship at his company is just a cover-up so her mother doesn't get angry that she's pursuing her dreams of being a blogger. But eventually, she also develops feelings for him. Next up is Accidentally Meow On You, a 35-episode Tencent video production that's a rom-com starring Hu Bingqing and Sing Zhao Lin. This is a romance between a sweet girl and a sundere boss. Basically, cold on the outside, sweet in the inside. And they both bond over their love for cats. The next drama stars Kenny Lin and Wu Jin Yan in a drama called My Bargain Queen. It's a business romance drama, and so far, some sources are saying this will be 40 to 50 episodes, and I really hope not since I don't think that they need that much episodes for this type of story. But this is a romance between two rivals. One is a female CEO boss, and the other one is a male CEO. What I do like about this is that they're both on the same level. So usually it's like a female lead that's really poor while it's the male lead that's super rich and powerful and successful. Or if it is a female lead that's strong and successful, for some reason, the male love interest is always someone younger. This is nice since they're relatively around the same age in the drama and they have similar titles and positions. There's also a new poster for Why Woman Love, a 24-episode Yuku business rom-com starring Jin Chen and Wang Ziyi. This is an office romance relationship with a female CEO, and it's a boss and employee relationship. After that, we have To Fly With You, which is a youth romance sports drama starring Lorena Song and Wang An Yu. They are both a part of the short track speed skating team. And the story shows how the entire team grows and doesn't give up on their dreams. Wan Pang and Jackie Lee has also recently confirmed that they will be participating in A Year with Freedom, a Yuku workplace romance drama. But this will focus heavily on the progress of the two women in their workplaces. Wan Pang has recently been really popular for her rom-coms but it seems like she's trying to diversify a little even though it's in the romance genre it's more mature and i'm excited to see how this will turn out i did just finish an entire video on her career talking about her top facts and dramas so if you're interested make sure to check out my celebrity facts and profiles playlist where you can watch that video afterwards and i accidentally left out three dramas last time since there was just so much but these are some other historical dramas the first two are republican romance dramas the first one is love in flames of war starring do xiao and chen du ling the female lead in this drama was wrongfully accused of her father's murder but is rescued by the male lead's father right from the start the two leads don't get along well and he kind of bullies her he's a bit of an overbearing alpha male character and he's actually a leader at one of the best military schools. But eventually, they decide to work together, get married, and try to investigate her father's murder together. Fall in Love is a romance starring Chen Xingxu and Zhang Jingyi. It is a Republican political romance drama about a friends-to-lovers relationship in troubled times. War is breaking out, there's rebellion, it's crazy. And the two leads survive so many crazy encounters together and eventually fall in love. Last but not least is My Heart starring Cheng Xiao and Jason Ku. This is a 24-episode Aichi Yi drama 
that has fantasy and supernatural elements as well. This is set in a world where everyone has their own set of unique powers, except for the female lead. But this changes one day when she meets a stranger playboy and prince, but she realizes that he's actually a very kind-hearted man. And if you make it all the way to the end for this episode, comment down below with the thumbs up emoji so I know if you watched it all the way through. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, it really does help me out as well as turn on your notifications to all so you don't miss out on future uploads. I also made a Ko-Fi account for anyone who's interested in donating me a coffee. Links are all down below in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.